Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cedric with Too Fast For You HPA Adventures. Today guys, we are going to take the 224 Noble out to one of my favorite permissions and we are going to do some supersonic pesting and testing. Um, everything that I do today is going to be supersonic. Um, I'm really interested to see the performance downrange. Um, I've got a lot of filming today guys to do today and not enough time so let's stop talking you know what the video is about let's get to shooting get the heck out of here all right guys got five balloons down we're going to shoot 1145 feet per second we're going to go supersonic to prove boat tail hollow points can go through super then transonic and remain accurate gonna go pink target pink balloon left left to right eleven fifty five point five blue balloon eleven forty one point eight the first shot was high because the gun's been sitting there for a while, pressurized. So they all should be in the 1140s. We're about 10 feet per second above supersonic. Red balloon next. Orange balloon next. Eleven forty eight point three. Here we go. Last balloon. Yellow. I believe that's yellow or green, but last one. Eleven fifty point three. There you go, guys. Boat tail hollow points in an air gun is accurate above supersonic. All right, guys, so coming up first is me using the 42 grain boat tail hollow point at 1200 feet per second. I am just learning the difference between two different weights that I will primarily use for supersonic 42 grain and 50 grain. This is the 42. It is a half a mil higher in elevation than the 50 grainer. That's the only difference. Here you go. There it is. There it is. 1192.4 feet per second, 42 grain. Yeah, that stung him. And now let's switch over to the 50 grain boat tail hollow points. Eleven forty nine point four. That one supersonic. I don't know. What. This guy is playing a little peekaboo. Can you spot him before the marker goes up? Right there by the to the right of the right white rock. There he is. Eleven forty-three point three. Headshot. Dead on the money, guys. Oh my God, I've hit the lottery with this two twenty-four build. In this clip, you'll be able to watch the bullets flight to the squirrel. A little over a hundred yards, just over supersonic, then right back through transonic, and right back to subsonic. The whole process takes place at about 10 to 12 yards out. You will see the bullet is stable. Right. 
No wobbling. No accuracy issues. All right, there's one at 142. We're calling for 1.2 mils. Let's see. Let's see how accurate all this information is. On this shot, there's two. I don't rush. They are way too active and moving way too much. Even though these are pests, I want to make one shot, one kill. As soon as you see the yardage marker, it's on. Oh my God, 1143. It is dead on. All my numbers are dead on. Let's go down a little bit. There it is. 1146.1, 1.1 mil. He is a little closer. I went down a tenth of a mil. This was my second favorite shot of the day. 171 yards. He had just come from the right inside the field and now he's moving to the left. This was an extremely tough shot because he does not leave me much of a kill zone. Remember guys, this is 171 yards on something the size of an egg. Come on. Stand up. Oh my God, that hit him. That hit him, 1145.2. Oh my goodness. 1145.2, supersonic. My goodness 88 yards 1143.8 this guy is 142 yards away but he is not settled in he's very fidgety 1.2 so I decide to wait for the perfect shot see the way he's moving that would have been a bad shot Texas hard shot. Just gonna watch him for a second. See, it's on the move. Oh! He was moving, but I was pretty quick on the draw. Sometimes you have to watch more than you just take pot shots. Wow. Once he sat still for two seconds, I knew it was time to send it. What you're gonna see in this scene coming up is two things. One, everybody misses. But the point is to show you guys also, I made a mistake by having the scope clicked up for longer ranges. I simply turn the zero, stop back to zero, and make my shot. That shows you how good arc and optics are. Just watch the sequence. And go for a headshot. not gonna work if you still have you dialed up to two like I'm shooting a couple of hundred yards <laughs> amateur there we go there it goes so there's another one you heard it you've seen it 1148.7 It's devastating. 200 yards, longest shot of the day. Watch the precision, oh, guys. Man. One shot.
There it is. Oh, he is done. He is done. 11.64. This shot is straightforward. Not much to it. There it is. One and done. 11.33.55. Now we move on to the last shot of the video. Wind's blowing left to right. Oh, there it is. 11.51.6. Alright guys, end of the video, end of the day. It's 1 o'clock. It's hot. It's a little grassy out here. Uh, grass is a little high. That's enough for the day. We are done. The uh, first ever hypersonic or supersonic air gun slug shooting uh, pesting session, hunting session, whatever you want to call it, is complete, guys. It is complete. It was utterly successful. How successful? Well, didn't really miss too much. Um, the ones I did, the few that I did miss, the wind. Uh, wind is still a factor, as always will be, no matter how fast you shoot. Um, those are common errors. That's why I tell you guys, I might be a good shot, but I miss too. <laughs> we all do, man. Um, especially when you're out in the vast open where you're looking at four or 500 yards and you're trying to range a, something as small as a ground squirrel and you're trying to range the area around it and hopefully you get a good guesstimate. But that's what it's like to pest. Um, you're blind. Good range finder, but you're going you're gonna to have some misses because of that. No range finder can pinpoint an animal that small from that far out. So it happens, but I can tell you the ones I hit, when I did hit them, it was first shot, first shot only. I think I only had uh, one that I missed two times and then I got it. The rest, if I missed, they ran down a hole and that was it. But it was just as successful as shooting 1,050, 1,020, 980. Same effect, guys. Same, uh, same as far as how many times I could point it, you know, click, point at something to hit it at 140, 160, 200 yards of my furthest shot today, one shot. The street lock or, or chair gun app was on point. My numbers that I got, BC numbers that I got yesterday, on point. Um, different than what I had in there, but I put that measurement in and on point. Guys, it is, t it is a total different experience shooting supersonic. It is like kind of a, a it's like having a 22 long rifle that's dialed in with ammo that goes 1250. I mean, you're just not going you if you know you're a gun and you know your ammo you're just not going to miss so i love it i will be doing this again on the forums where i can shoot supersonic where i have a good safe backstop um these are 50 grainers they're heavier than a 22 long rifle going the same speed i was hitting upwards of 12 or 1160 um a couple of the shots were 1180 today most of them being 1145 to 1150 that was my goal speed but i did take a few faster than that that was with 50 grainers successful day guys i'm out of here i'm hot i gotta drive i'm out of here